Hey guys, this is Hafiz and today we are going to look at a problem uh, with the, the parking brakes. So as you can see, my air pressure is above 125 and uh, the, the primary and secondary tanks, they are, uh, tanks, they are good. So my parking brake for the trailer is release. So basically I already pushed that in. So that one is good. But when I try to release this uh, truck parking brake, um, this is what's gonna happen. I'm gonna show you that. So as soon as I push it, I hear the air leak and then this air line is gonna pop out. And as you see that my air pressure is still good. So if I keep holding it, it's still going down, but if I release this brake, uh, it comes out. So it's not letting me uh, release this uh, brake. And uh, as soon as I push this in, this one comes out. So I'm gonna try to push this trailer brake in. And as you can see, there's no issues and the air pressure is still good. Um, I'm not hearing any leak and it's building up air pressure into the trailer. But as soon as I push this one in, I'm gonna have a problem again. I'm gonna show you that one more time. So as soon as I hold it, I'm keep holding it and it's popping out and even this one is not staying down there. So as soon as I push it in, it comes back. So most likely the problem, um, if this kind of problem you see in your truck is uh, the this air valve that uh, these both uh, knobs are connected to that air valve have springs and maybe the spring is rusty or something and it, it, it goes bad over time and uh, it could be due to the moisture in the tanks and all that it could be so many reason or um, uh, it could be over time they, these parts can go bad so we have to remove this uh, valve and replace and see if that fixes the problem So as soon as you push this valve in, you don't uh, feel any air leak coming out of this valve, but you hear the the air leak sound from here. So. I don't feel any air pressure or any air, but it's coming out of the valve. I feel a little bit. So I need to change this. Let's see if it works. All right, so to remove this valve, it's very easy. As you can see, all these lines are connected. You don't have to worry about uh, taking the picture or anything because all those hoses, they have pictures. I mean, they have colors. As you can see, this one is black and the, the cap is black and then red, orange, and all those green colors. So they all have that. So the new wall should also have it and you can just match the color with the line and just connect it so it'll be so easy so to disconnect these lines all you have to do is very easy just push this in and then pull this line out and uh, uh, if you have the this wrench uh, this key you can push this in and then pull this line out if uh, you can't remove it by hand so just push that in and then remove this line I'm just going to see if I can record and uh, remove at the same time and uh, all right so you push this in and then you pull it out so just like that you can remove all of those
right so just to put the new valve all we have to do is just match the lines and the color on the, the fittings and uh, that will be it So I just replaced the valve and as you can see my uh, air pressure is up and uh, the valve is in so I don't hear any uh, air leak or the valve is not popping again so I'm just going to show you guys if I can uh, move the truck this way so <clears throat> the problem is solved in my opinion but let's see if I can move the truck too and trailer at the same time so I'm going to put in a gear all right so I'm able to yep so I'm able to move the truck and the problem is fixed I just need to put it back the brakes guys um, that was it for today and uh, I see you in the next one till then have a nice day